It goes without saying that E is a very important number, but with a value of about 2.7, it's a terrible approximation of pi. F tier. The square root of 10 isn't quite as special as E, but it's a better approximation of pi. Better, but still not very impressive. E tier. So this number is a bit more interesting, and better yet, it approximates pi to three decimals. But we can still do much better. E tier. As a physics nerd, I'm a bit biased towards this one. G is the approximate value of the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. The square root of its value in SI units gives an approximation only to the first decimal, but I'll ignore this and place it in D tier. Using pi to approximate pi is kind of funny. I think this one safely lands in D tier as well. I'm not personally a huge fan of mixed numbers. I think they should be left in elementary school where they belong, so this one lands in E tier. Not a very cool number and not a good approximation of pi, this one goes in F tier. So this one is a bit more obscure. The number E is familiar of course, and gamma is the Euler-Mascheroni constant. Its value is about 0.57, and it shows up in analysis and number theory, especially in integrals and harmonic series. So what happens when you subtract it from E and add 1? You get a decent approximation of pi. D tier. With this one, there's not much historical significance, no deeper mathematical meaning, it's just a weird trick to get really close to pi. It gives an approximation all the way up to 9 decimals, and I also just think this number looks pretty neat. B tier. 355 over 113 performs surprisingly well for a seemingly simple and random fraction. C tier. This one is pretty similar, another random fraction that gets you all the way up to 9 digits. C tier. These two previous expressions are actually what's called best rational approximations of pi, meaning you can't do better with a fraction of the same or smaller denominator. There are more of them, but I'm not going to include every single one on this list. We've got nested radicals, and three digits isn't terrible. D tier. Now this one is a bit ridiculous. It feels like someone tried to cram as many famous constants as possible into one expression. This somehow gives a pretty good approximation of pi. B tier. So this sum actually equals pi and the limit that n goes to infinity. It comes from the solution to the Basel problem. In 1734, Euler found the solution to be pi squared over 6, and solving gives our expression for pi. Its simplicity and historical significance puts this one in A tier. Now of course this isn't exactly an approximation of pi, but in practice we'll never use an infinite number of terms, so I'll be including this expression and ones like it as well. This is another best rational approximation of pi, but it's not a very good approximation, E tier. So this one comes from the Leibniz formula for pi. If you group terms in pairs, the alternating signs cancel, and you get this clean, non-alternating expression. It's still not the fastest way to approximate pi, but it earns its place in A tier. This expression is actually the first term in an infinite series developed by Ramanujan and it approximates pi quite well on its own. C tier. Of course, this is really just a fourth root, but writing it as a nested radical makes it look pretty cool, and eight digits is impressive. C tier. Once again, we have an expression with E and phi all over the place. As far as I can tell, it doesn't have much historical significance or mathematical reason to work, though it somehow gets us to 11 digits. B tier. This is the Leibniz expression we saw earlier. It converges to pi, though does so a bit slowly. A tier. This is a fun looking expression, though I feel it's doing a bit too much. Also, only five digits. D tier. This is known as Wallace's product, one of the earliest infinite product formulas for pi. It doesn't converge quickly, but its historical significance and unique form easily lands it in A tier. This expression comes from one of the most famous almost integers in mathematics. Its form isn't just numerical coincidence, rather it's rooted deeply in number theory. Its great precision and elegant structure easily lands it in B tier. This one gets you a couple of decimal places, but it's lazy and not very interesting, F tier. Again, same idea, but at least you get a bit more precision, E tier. So with this one you get a couple of square roots and a couple decimal places, but not much else, E tier. This approximation is again thanks to Ramanujan. It's not quite as remarkable as his other approximations, D tier. So this one is a bit neat looking. Raise 1 over pi to the 193rd power and you get this number, 
we can use this fact to engineer a pretty good approximation for pi, c tier. This one is based on the Taylor series for arctangent, and it converges faster than all the series we've looked at so far. This one goes in S tier, since it's rather simple looking, yet converges exponentially. So this one is pretty nice to look at, but it's not good for much else. E tier. Remember this expression from earlier? Well, it's the first term in this infinite summation developed by Ramanujan. Each new term adds dozens of correct digits of pi. Easy S tier. And in case that wasn't enough, Ramanujan also dropped this banger of an approximation. It converges very fast. Another S tier. So it's pretty mind-blowing that this one is in fact equal to pi. It was derived geometrically from the idea of inscribing circles with polygons. Definitely A tier. So there are infinitely many continued fraction expressions for pi, but I can't fit all of them on the screen, so I decided to just include this one. This earns a spot in A tier. This one gets you a couple of decimals, and it's kind of neat to look at, but that's it. E tier. You might not be surprised that this one was based off the work of Ramanujan. Mathematicians reverse engineered expressions like these based off of his infinite sums. And 52 decimals is very impressive. B tier. Once again, another derivative of Ramanujan's work, giving 52 decimals, B tier. This is just another one of those funny coincidences that happen to get you pretty close to pi, but it's not all that interesting, E tier. Pretty much the exact same deal with this one, E tier. As mentioned before, the golden ratio is a pretty cool number, but with a value of about 1.6, it's the worst approximation we've seen so far, F tier. This expression comes from truncating this series we saw earlier, and it's good for 12 decimals. Solid C tier. So this one is pretty unique in that it includes a double factorial. The double factorial of a number m is the product of all the positive integers up to m with the same parity as m. I think a double factorial earns your spot in S tier. I really appreciate you watching the video. Perhaps let us know what your favorite approximation is in the comments.